Hello everyone, Professor Graham Fearon here from Grace Paul Warrington in the UK. Beside me is Coach Hannah and she's going to be helping me out today. What we're doing is providing our students and the wider community with some online classes because currently we're still locked down because of COVID-19. We've got three means of communication going on right now. We've got our YouTube channel, we've got our Facebook Live and we've got our Zoom application that will be happening during the filming. So this class guys is a Future Champions class so it's our kids programme age between 7 and 12 years old. Hope you enjoyed the class guys, let's get started. Okay guys, let's get started for our warm up. Are we ready? All together team, let's go. Start jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Again now, we're going to walk our hands forwards 
Ah, uh, ropes left hand side. Ah, yeah. uh, ropes right hand side. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. All right, guys. Bring your knees together. Wrap your arms around the legs. Roll down the spine. And then kick over. Get a nice shift down the neck and down the back here. Nice one guys, when you come out of that, if you need a drink, go get it now. Any personal stretches, do them. And then come back over, give you 20 seconds. Okay guys. So let's get started for our first technique. So we're still working the same self-defense that we've been working all week, okay? So this one today, we'll focus on the one that they grab the jacket or the t-shirt or the shirt. So the scruff of me now. But always remember, this one's good for self-defense. And it's also really, really good for sport jiu-jitsu because sometimes in sport jiu-jitsu you actually grab double the powers. Okay, so this one works well in sport jiu-jitsu and also maybe in self-defense if the person's scruffing me, it's going to work well there too. Okay guys, so very simple, alright? One hand comes in the middle, one hand on the outside. The one that's in the middle looks to grab the back of the head or maybe even the collar. Okay, self-defense, grab the head. Sport Jiu Jitsu, grab the collar, okay, the other hand, can grab the elbow, okay, or if they've got a shirt on, grab here by the elbow, by the cloth, okay. Then, what we're going to do from here, I'm going to, I'm going to, the one, the arm that's on the outside, the one that's grabbing the, the elbow, I want to bring my wrist like this, almost like I'm checking the tie, okay, that's how I want to do it. The same with the other arm, okay, so I bring both wrist, wrists in, like I'm checking the time, alright, I can only look at one wrist, so I'll just look up this one, that one comes in as well, but I'll look at this one, as I bring my arms in like this, okay, I'm going to step forward, so I bring up, step forward, and you notice, I step quite close, so don't step wide, I step close, so I'm here, so see how I do my arms, arms and step, Arms and step, arms and step, okay? Then I'm going to do two steps now, so I'm going to go arms, step, step pass. See how my shoulders are forward, my head's forward, my legs off the floor. I'm going to chop behind and this foot never touches the floor. It always stays up, off the floor, until the person's all the way down. Okay, then I'm going straight onto me on belly. Okay, self-defense here, pin the person down. You can educate them, you can get help. You might want to secure them in a different position. Or we can run, yeah. Sport jiu-jitsu, you've got all your positions. And also, this hand is still here. Put got a nice armbar as well, guys. Okay, so I'm going to show you one more time, because you guys are going to be awesome at this this week, because we've been doing it all week, right? So nice review. So they get me, one arm in the middle. One arm on the outside, grab the back of the head on the lapel. Remember, I'm checking the time and stepping forward. Stepping past, kick, all the way through, knee on belly. All right, guys, on three. One, two, three. Let's go, team. Okay, time. So come on over, guys. Let's get ready for our first technique on the ground. Alright guys, so remember this week we've been working mount, okay? So what I'd like to share with you, okay, is a nice way to get onto the mount and then this allows us to get a high mount, okay? Because this week we've been working at, um, in the mount, there's different types of mount that can be like quite a low mount, where your body's quite low, like here, and it, you can be like a high mount, where you're, you're really high, all right, and you're right underneath the elbow, sitting on your opponent's chest. Okay, both are really, really good. All right, and we're, we're working potentially a high mount this week, which is really good for attacking the arms, okay, and also for manipulating and then even getting the chokes as well. Okay, guys, so, we're, but the, the challenge is actually getting to high mount, okay? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how I crawl up the body, to the high mount, 
Okay, and then I'm going to show you a really nice technique that I really love from the, from the high mount. Okay, guys? So look, when I'm in the side control here, sometimes when I'm against um, a high level competitor, it's very challenging to just go straight to the mount. Okay, so what I'm going to do, all right, is I'm going to drop my hip to the floor so I'm really flat. And then that puts a lot of pressure on my opponent and my leg is on the floor here, okay? So we'll turn at this angle. All right, yeah, that's better. Okay, so instead of being here like this, I'm actually gonna drop my hip to the floor. And you can already see, I'm actually almost coming underneath this arm already. All right, that's exactly what I want. Now my elbow goes around, and I'm gonna put my elbow into the ear, okay? Then from there, I'm gonna lift up here, the arm out of the way, and I'm gonna grab the belt. Okay, can you see that, guys? Okay, so I'm coming underneath the elbows, all right? So I'm underneath that elbow here, and I'm underneath this elbow here, and I'm squashing my opponent now. Now I'm gonna switch my base towards the legs. This way, you can see now that my bottom is still underneath that elbow, and my arm here is wedging against the person, Okay, I'm keeping them still. So now I'm in a really good position. I'm actually facing the legs. Can everyone see that, yeah? Now it's easy to get over to the mount when I'm facing this way, but always the person defense. Okay? So I use my forearm and I wedge it against the leg. And then as I'm moving, moving the leg, I just place the knee inside there. Okay? So I push, switch. And from there, sometimes you come to mount, they might even defend at this leg now, because I'm already past that one. So then you just use this hand, move this one out of the way, and then start to mount. I'm keeping this hand here. A lot of times people will let go now like this. Now the person is free, there's no pressure on the person, and they can push my leg into half guard. And we never got them out anyway, okay? So what I like to do is, is keep hold of this grip and keep hold of this pressure by the head. So when I come over now, move. The person, very difficult, can't move. And you can see, look, I'm underneath this arm. You see that? So when I come over to the mount here, the person's still stuck. I feel a little bit awkward. I'm a sli I feel slightly off balance, but I'm not. Because the only way I can fall, really, is that way. Try to throw me that way. I'm glued to the floor, okay? It just feels awkward for me because I'm on top of my own arm. But this is really good because when now I grab, I let go of the belt and grab the elbow, and I almost have like two hands attacking this one arm, and that allows me to move my leg high. So already now, already now, because once you get to the mount and the person goes like this, yeah, pushing the hips, or maybe they're just tight here, like this. It's very difficult sometimes to get underneath the elbows. And then it's very difficult to get to a high mount here. Sometimes, even when I pin here and try and crawl, the person can be very strong, all right? So from there, all right, what I have to do is, I find that the position that I'm showing you now, okay, is very good, because I'm already, I'm already underneath the arm, and when I mount here, I'm, I've already got the arm going high. So when I mount here like this, yeah, I already have the one arm. So I'm already 50% of the way there. Okay, guys? And now, if this one is here like this, then that's fine. I'm just going to control the elbow, pull, and use the second arm now to climb even higher. And that's how I'm going to get to a high mount. All right, guys? So I know there's a lot of details there, okay, but hopefully you guys catch it, because this is, once you get here on this high mount, it's very good to choke, and very good to get the arms, all right, manipulate the arms, so it's really, really worth it, breaking it down step by step, and getting all them details to get to this high position, because don't think, you're not just going to be able to mount and then climb high sometimes, all right, when you're against a really good opponent, and defending really well, okay, doing all the right things. Of course, of course, if the person's not defending really, really well, what you can do is 
you can mount, crop the head here, and just crawl like crazy, really hard, okay? And then you're up onto the high mount. If you can do that, then well done. So I held the head and crawled really aggressively high, like a baby crawl, until I got to the high mount. But sometimes you're gonna need to manipulate the arms. Okay, guys? So I'm just gonna do one more time, really, really quick. You'll notice if you are on the bottom as well, guys, when you've got that belt grip, it's really, really hard on the person's shoulder. They can't move. Yeah, so even when they try and bridge, it's almost like their, their shoulder's getting put in a bit of a lock, so they won't want to bridge against it. Okay, so I'm here, I'm in my normal side control. Watch what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop my base down to the floor, so I stay underneath this elbow. I'm rolling my elbow around the head and keeping my elbow in tight to the ear. Then I'm lifting the arm and I'm grabbing the belt now and I'm making this wedge position with my arm. Then I switch my base and use my big butt to push the arm and I sit across the person's head, making them look the other way. Now it's very easy, look. I can mount straight away if they don't defend. I just tap the leg here and I can go and I can manipulate it. See that? I can manipulate his arm and I can go already. If they defend, I can just go one, two, three, over. And now I'm here, now you see, I have this arm already manipulated. That's one in the high mount already. Now, they're obviously going to turn their attention to this way anyway, because that's the only way they can escape now, is push this one into half guard, and we can take that one. Two hands on one, lift. High mount, both sides. Okay guys, so give this one a go. One, two, three. Let's go team. Let's get ready for our next technique. So now we've established the mount. Again, you know, if, the, if you're in this position, like here, and, and the person doesn't defend here, and you're sat in this like wicked base, and the person's not really defending, this is really good, just tap the knee here and just throw, and you're in. Okay, you're clear. It's a very, very effective way to establish them out. But of course, you know, if a good guy, you're gonna be here like this, you're gonna be defending. So you're gonna have to shield, and then after you shield, you come here, have to shield again, and then you end up in this position, right? Okay, and already, I've got one arm high. Pick on the other one, get that one high too. All right, guys, so check this out. I love this one. This catches all the higher grades out, okay? I really like this armbar setup. So now, I'm sat high on, the, on my opponent, and I start looking for chokes and things. So they start defending the neck, and they make uh, the crisscross position, yeah? And now, if I go straight to this arm here to attack the arm on top, so we're gonna go for armbar, if I go straight to this arm here to attack this arm, normally the person crisscrosses the other way anyway. Then you go to this one and then you crisscross and defend the arm because they're always trying to defend the arm. I go to this one to defend the arm. So then you get into this back and forth battle of them defending the arm, okay? <laughs> so I just like to cut that out. So straight away, I, I identify the arm that's on the bottom, okay? And I hold that arm the one that's on the bottom, okay? So I go forward of the arm that's on top, and I grab the wrist of the arm that's on the bottom, okay? So now I've got hold of the arm that's on the bottom. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hug the arm that's on the top, like this. Now this technique only works in the high mount guys, because you see how I'm nice and I'm high, I'm squeezing my knees together. Now coach, pull your arm back to get this one out, get this one out to pull it back that way. She can't and get this one out. Her both arms are stuck and I'm only using one arm because I've actually gone over the top arm, I've secured the bottom arm and then I've pinched the top arm. So now when the person's here, their arms are stuck. But if I was in the low mount or a little bit lower, when I'm here, the person could put, oh, it's gone. Oh, and now they're, now they're saving their arm again. Okay? So this technique only works really in the higher mount. So I identify, oh, she's tricking me this time. She's gone the other side, which is good. Okay, so we can practice this way. So I find the bottom arm, I go over the top and hug that arm and, pick, and pull tight, pitch with your knees. Okay, guys, then from here, this is really easy now. 
to switch to the S mount because we have domination. Now, whichever arm you're controlling, normally the opponent thinks, ah, he's controlling his arm, he's going to attack the arm. And then he thinks to themselves, oh, well, that's okay, I'm safe because I'm protecting my arm already. Wrong. I'm controlling this arm, I'm actually going to attack the arm that's on top now, the weakest arm anyway. So I'm going to switch my base this way to the S, S mount position. And look, because I'm pinching my knees tight again, free your arms. They can't, and the only arm that's free here, all right, is the one that's on top. So already now I have the arm bar ready. Okay, of course, I'm gonna have to switch my base this way, all right? And now I'm already on the arm bar, okay? So I've went to the top arm and secured, control my speed, heels down, knees in, thumb up, going back slow with the arm connected to my chest and getting the tough. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you one more time. So we, we high mounted, okay? So we high mounted and we pinch in tight. We take a look, which one is on the bottom? Ah, this one. So I'm going over and I'm grabbing the wrist and pinching. Now the opponent always thinks you're gonna attack this arm. I'm not. I'm gonna attack the arm that's on top, the free one. But first of all, I've got to set up my S mount position. So knee high, hold the elbow, because I'm replacing with my knee, and come around to my S position. Now from here, now look, I already have arm bar position, but before I get there, of course, bring my leg around, and now I can control both arms and have the arm bar. Really sweet attack, guys. Okay, enjoy. One, two, three. Amazing guys, that concludes our class. I hope you enjoy it. Remember guys, stay safe, stay connected, and look forward to uh, the next class. Awesome guys, see you all soon.